guys welcome back to the channel and today guys um, I'm gonna do something uh, just a little bit different today um, I'm come down to Dean Wood it's in between situated in between a Poland and the Oral in uh, Wigan um, this place I used to come down here as a kid uh, when we were younger it was a magnificent place I used to love coming down here rope swings all kinds we used to do down here um, so without further ado guys, we'll spin you around and we'll take you on this little mad adventure through Dean Wood. There's also some little caves in here somewhere. If I can re I'm gonna f see if I can find them, but I can't remember exactly where they were. But we'll have a good look anyway, and it's a walk out and uh, something different for us. So let's go. Got dog with me today, uh, Mitzi. Mitzi the much. Right, let's go into Dean Wood. Now, I don't think I've picked best of days because it's muddy and what have you, but you know, it's a walk out, change of scenery, exercise, something new for you guys. I mean, I know it's not the same as exploring abandoned buildings, or houses, or whatever, but. It's exploring in the woods. You never know what you find in the woods. Excuse me. Uh, dog's taking me down that way. She can piss off. She can run back up here. She's got four legs I've only got two. Come on, daft dog. Come on. Come on there. see stream running down there guys gonna go and take some forties and stuff with all this we'll get down by the river up here because there should be paths um many years ago when i was a kid um we used to go to a place it was run by dave Wrighton. he was a policeman he'd be retired now um and we came down in these woods we used to repair all the footpaths. We used to repair all the footpaths and uh, things like that, you know, so all the walkers could walk down here and enjoy all the scenery. And uh, we were rewarded to, with trips up to like Lake District and Cumbria canoeing and mountaineering, orienteering and things like that. Uh, I loved it. Right, look at this big tree here. That's been falling. Must have been blown down in winds but it's absolutely huge that I love coming out for these walks keep you fit right we need to work our way out get down to that river tell you what dog come on we'll go your way dog Take more notice here. Yeah. 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 Um, can I get down here? Bitsy, come on, girl. Down this. Uh. Right, as you can see, made it down to the river, guys. There's the tree, what we'd fallen down. So I'm going to make my way along this path and see if all the pathways what we made when we were kids are still here. Somehow I doubt it like, but let's crack on anyway guys. Oh God. She's a death rotted to anything this tree, so you have to be careful. Don't be getting clonked on yet. It's a big log. Dog will be in a prime here. You should be loving it. But I just thought this is a bit of a change, you know. A bit of exercise. 
and something different. Up there guys, that's where the golf course is, Deanwood Golf Course. Just cut across that to get to here. Not sure if I'm meant to like, but you're not meant to do a lot of things, but I do. Right. It's like this way. Need both hands, climb around here. Sorry for it, dog. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, you're looking at it's all right for you four legs right. stop in there uh, can find these caves There's a huge place this goes on for miles and miles. I mean a lot of people can't get to places like this, you know, um or a lot of places people don't fancy coming to places like this, you know, because you get mucky. Or whatever, so I thought this should be something different just to show people what blue, um, you know, what beautiful places we have local to us. <sighs> Gonna have packing smoking though. I did have picked today for down here, didn't I, guys? Dog doesn't give a toss, just walking through it. Chris, is it not? Oh, come on! Come on! Mm -hmm. You up? I'm wondering if that's the path there at the top. Alright, come on. Let's go this way. Whoop! Whoop! We're getting onto a better path now, don't you guys? I think I, uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> right, I came into it woods totally wrong way, people. I came into I up from uh, that way. Here's, um, as you'll see now, is the public footpath, and uh, these are some of the things we built as kids. All the old steps here as you can see and there's the path now we're into the proper bit of the woods now for this explore so I'll be back with you right, people let's go it is muddy here very muddy but there's another walker here so I've had to put her on a lead Do a dog walker there. You know, it's an excellent place, this. It's lovely and peaceful. It's muddy. It's wet. But it's peaceful. Hey. 
think she's uh, buggered off. We'll take dog off lead again. Easier for me to walk with without a hunt lead, but here we go. Here we go. See you guys. All these bridges and things like that we did, building pathways and stuff. But here we go, we're on to better paths now. So what we'll do, I'm gonna sit down here for a little minute guys and take some pictures, have a brew, quick ciggy, and then we'll crack on. So I'll see you in just a few minutes, people. Let's go. I mean, look at that. Little waterfall there. Cool. Yeah, so the object of today is it's just trying something new. Um, walks in different places you know i mean in here i just love it in here when we used to come down here as kids <clears throat> used to have rope swings all caught all sorts in summer you, you know we're forever getting uh, told off by our parents when we got home because we'd all be, we'd all get up in the morning we'd all meet up on our bmx's or on foot or whatever bit of a pat lunch sometimes no pat lunch we didn't give a toss either way when we were kids but we'd come down here and we'd be down here from first thing in the morning till last thing at night just before tea time I'm guaranteed when I got in I was always getting a rollicking But you know what it was like when you were kids. Uh, I just love being in, you know, places like this. Not like kids are today, locked up in the bedrooms on them shitty Xboxes, poisoning the minds, you know, playing all these games. They end up thinking they're gangsters. You know, um, I'm glad I had the childhood that I had and there was no such thing as mobile phones and Xboxes. Yeah, we had computers, but they were crap, weren't they? You know what I mean? Atari and all that, tennis with a square ball and stuff. You know, so, I mean, getting kids out these days but do things like this, it's, it's like wrestling, Jeff. It's like wrestling, Jeff Capes, isn't it? You've no chance. Because they'd rather stay at home playing that daft game Fortnite. Can you have some V-Bucks? For some skins and all the rest of it. You know, but... Never mind. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just got a message. Oh, I hope dog's after a squirrel though. <laughs> she's just in the grey squirrel, I think it was. Yeah, she can smell it now, look, she's going mad. Where's it gone, girl? Where's it gone? You don't find him, he'll gone. Up a tree somewhere. She onto it. You aren't finding him. You'll be up a tree somewhere, you div. You're not catch him anyway. Yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. Mitchie, come here. Right, guys. One second. Pot dog on a lead. Start pot dog on a lead, then, people. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I remember that pipe as a kid. We used to all dare each other to walk across that. You <coughs> right here. Yeah, right, mate. I'm not talking to myself, I do YouTube vids. Right, uh, <laughs> tree come down further on oh yeah so it must have only just come down blocking all paths yeah and, uh, not half made a mess like that. yeah there's a big one up there as well what's come down That's yeah but i think that one's all right guys so just stop for a little chat uh little chat with uh, another dog walker there and he said that down here just recently a big tree's come down he said it's only happened in the last day or two because he was down here the day before yesterday and it weren't down and he's come down this morning and it is so we'll see if we can find that uh, but this is a long walk I'm gonna um, get a bit further along here guys Gonna stop and have a little cup of tea. Uh, and believe it or not, they were brand new them boots this morning. Well that's what we're getting for walking boots, getting covered in shite. Sorry for swearing. <coughs> I love coming on little walks on my own. You know uh just gives you that bit of head space, on it? You know, time to think. Um, yeah, that fellow was saying that um, during the week you hardly see anybody down here. He said then you hit weekend and it's uh, rammed, packed. But it is a nice place to come. I mean, it's a bonus if um, we find the caves. Hmm. That looks a bit. I can't see him being there. Yeah, you just have to keep your eyes out on all bankings because, like I know we're know they're here, but last time I was down here, flipping out. How long ago would it have been? Well, I'm 45 now, so... About 25, 30 years ago since I was last down here. Right, just as I was saying, people, see? Rope swing there. You can see it. And some brave bugger, mind you, I was saying when I was a kid, but some brave buggers tied it up though. Right. What I'm looking for is a decent spot now. Sit my ass down and have a brew, people. <laughs> now, not many might not like this kind of stuff you know come walking around woods and that but you know it's just a test if people do like this you know can take you to different places you know if you're not fortunate and you, you know if you're unfortunate that you're housebound you can't get out then you'd like to see these places then comment comment below Send a message to my Facebook, either Exploring with Chris or Chris Tucker. Friend me and I'll answer any questions that you may have for me. Or, you know, you can tell me where you'd like me to go, where you'd like me to explore for you. Whether it be abandoned houses, derelict buildings, walk through woods, you know. Anyway guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep you with me because just up ahead here is a bridge, what I know for a fact, that me and my mates, when we were kids, when we used to come down here doing the Prop Footpath project, here's one of the bridge thing, bridges that we built. 
Now we used to come doing this on Sunday mornings. <clears throat> and this is one what we built and I am absolutely surprised. Oh, this is still here. But see all this wood here? Yeah, we made this pathway here. Up onto it rocks, yeah, just as. And we built all this here, guys. We built this. You know, I done that. I built that. Well, I played my part in building it. Um, if I remember, a few other people who come doing this with me, um, who can I remember off the top of my head? Shane Disley, Jeffrey Hitchin, John Birch, Gerald Gaskell, Diane Bibby, Neil Hughes, etc, etc. Oh, there was a few of us. And I'll never forget, we used to meet on um, a car park, Solendall, it's over them where it's just outside at golf course. And we used to meet there. And I dropped my bloody fa flask first thing in the morning. Now it was one of the old style flasks, you know, glass thing inside and it broke. And by God, that pissed me off. It had my tomato soup in it. Thought keep me warm, to keep me warm. Anyway, people, I'm going to find myself a little speck and I'm going to have a um, cup of coffee. Then I'll take you a, a little further on through these woods take some more photographs so I'll see you all in a little while guys see chaps just having a quick run some of it's grand you know mm. yeah one foot dog yeah girl go on there you go first dog fed nice little cheap you know just have a cup of coffee off there little bit of a plastic cup I've got there's none for you dog you don't like coffee and it's got sugar in it you can't tie it uh, yeah just a bit of a change this people go away go on you wads go go and do something what dogs do go on piss off go find some squirrels or something yeah just gonna uh, have this quick for you guys and then uh, it's fucking snizz making me now can't you then we'll crack on with our walk through Dean Wood I'm hoping you're all enjoying this people um, if not well so be it but spot it something different get out for a walk and take you as with me so I'm just gonna make myself a ciggy and drink this brew guys and we'll crack back on with our walk uh, mountain bikers in here and everything uh, two nice fellas them just been having a chinwag with them um, they're into uh, caving videos and things like that they've got my channel they're gonna subscribe to me later on so that's happy days so what we're gonna do guys now is we're gonna make our way over these bridges and we'll crack on with this walk not left anything ever no just had a cup of coffee and something to eat guys you know keep strength up come on then dog <clears throat> you meet all kinds of people you know when you're out um... <coughs> it's nice to talk isn't it guys Oh yeah, I need to get some photographs of this here. Um, I think they'd just come through that water there. I mean, that's another thing I could do. Get a mountain bike and go. I don't know. I don't know. Do vids on mountain biking. But I'm going to have to take some pictures of this. Mind you, I'll take some when we're walking back up. So let's crack on. Just can't remember where these caves are down here. Oh, 
continue. Dog there enjoying herself. Got these mountain bikers here in front. See if we can get them on vid. But yeah, like I said, I used to love it in here as a kid. It's not changed that much. Right, people. This is the tree what that fella was on about before. What's just come down? Freshly snapped. See it there. Now I'm just wondering if see if I take you back this way a minute I've just spotted that lot up there but I can't see the caves being up there I'm sure they were further on this way so what we'll do we'll just carry on going this way guys there's another pathway there don't know where that leads us to exactly but you know right let's challenge this motherfucker <coughs> oh god I slipped on that then friggin moss <laughs> come on dog under friggin feet god's sake right I mean there's plenty come down look at them Come here! Dogs have to get in off there guys. So I'll get back up there with her now. Right people. I'm not sure of uh, how much further I'm gonna go now. <coughs> I don't think I'll be going a lot further because I have got about a five mile walk home, something like that, for five mile. I'm not bothered, I like walking, you know, keeps you fit. Keeps you healthy, gets you out of house. But we'll carry on for a little bit longer, I think. And then uh, on the way back, if I can get a signal down here, phone signal, uh, I may... Whoa, have I found the caves? I think I've found them. I think I've found them, guys. I think I've found it. Oh, look at this. This is what I like. I love this kind of stuff. When you come out, I mean, you just look there, guys. I think that's the little cave there. Yeah? I'm thinking it's it. We haven't looked, but we will do in a minute. Be back with you in just a second, guys. Right, guys. Right, guys. Anyway, let's go and see. If this is a little cave. I've just been getting my head torch out. Hey, slipping dog. Ah, it's only a tiny thing, this. Nothing special. I don't think it goes very far. Let me look there, dog. Wait. No, I don't know. I doubt it goes far, that guy's to say in the truth. I mean, I'll tell you what, why I'm here. May as well. Rather see what's what, eh? <coughs> Get a bit fucking shitted up, boy, in here, won't you? 
Yeah. The torch keeps going on, huh? Fucking hell, man. Dogs in. Oh no. It does go this, guys. It does go this. My head torch is pissing me off. So I'm swearing, guys. Got this. Now if that leaves me back outside. Me T, come back here. Fucking daft dog. Let me look. Right, if this head torch doesn't stop pissing me off. I'll tell you what, the trick off me head. Well, guys. See? Ah. Right. <laughs> Move, Mitch. Come out of my way. I have got better shit as well, but... Move, Mitchy! <coughs> Drop, get out of my way, dog. She's not coming again. Fucking liability. <laughs> now, I knew about these cows years ago. But... She's mad. Right, guys. You'd like me to come back here and go through and do this. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go now because I'm on my own. And I don't want to be, you know, going in and getting stuck. So, we shall come back here, guys. I'm going to take some photographs of this now and we'll definitely come back here and we'll have a moon through there. <laughs> right, so I can be climbing in and out of there. So small. But yeah, I didn't think I'd find this again. But yeah. Now, um, my number one rule is when you're going in to places like this, don't go in them on your own. Um, no matter how much you want to go in there, if you're on your own, don't, because you could go in there, you could have an accident, you could hurt yourself, and you've got no one here to help you get back out. So, if you're my advice, if you're going to go exploring these places, always go with somebody else. So obviously people, there's going to be a part two to this video because I'm going to have to go find somebody who'd like to come and do this one with me to have a little mooch. I mean, it could be a big one, it could be small, you never know. Um, but like I say, I'm not going in there on my own. I'm going to come back here with somebody else and we're going to go in there and we'll explore it for you. So, um, yeah, part two will be coming soon, people. Right, people. Uh, I've come to the end of this video for today. Um, I've come and I've found what I came to find. Like I just said, then uh, I'm not going to enter it on my own. I'm not going to risk it. Um, I'd be a fool if I'd done that. Um, but a simple reason is I've no one with me. If I get hurt, I get lost or anything like that, I'm, 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 I'm knackered, aren't I? So I will be coming back here, there will be a part two to this video. What I'm going to do now guys is, if I can get a signal down here, I'm going to go and do a live now on Facebook for me walk back with my dog. And we'll be back down here soon to uh, get inside them caves, so I'm going to love you all, I'm going to leave you all, and I'll see you all soon. And please, please, please people, can you smash that like button for me, share, subscribe. I um, think I'm about 80 subscribers away now from hitting the big 1k then my channel have actually made it so come on this final push get to a thousand thank you very much to all you my subscribers old and new it's really appreciated um, you know I love you all to pieces here's to more adventures of a lifetime with me exploring with Chris see you soon bye bye chat